Today, I'm going to show you how to export your video's alpha channel, or in other words, transparent video. This can be useful for a whole bunch of different applications like titles, VFX, and graphics. To get started, I'm going to show you some examples of how our exported files will show up when we go to use them, then I'm going to show you what's different about the export process that allows us to get transparent videos. If this video helps you out, it would be awesome to have you subscribe, and if it doesn't, let me know why in the comments. For our first of three examples, I'll bring out this title. As you can see, when I move this around, you can see through it, right from the jump without any extra keying or qualifying of any kind. The second example is going to be this little callout element, which hopefully will cause you to subscribe. Again, we can see right through this because its alpha channel was preserved on the export. Last but not least, we have the typical stereotype of a VFX example, an explosion. Now then, let's see how to do this. Step 1. As it is with any export job, we're headed to the deliver page. Once here, we need to make a couple small changes to our settings over here on the left. Typically, at least for me, I change the format to MP4. For this though, we need QuickTime. So if it's not already selected, we'll go ahead and grab it from this list right here. Then in the Kodak menu, we will select DNX HR. Once we do that, encoder will change to type. From this new menu, we can choose any option other than DNX HR HQX 10 bit or DNX HR LB. So I'll go with DNX HR 444 12 bit, and we'll see this new option pop up down here, which says export alpha. Once we check this box, we get this new grayed out option, alpha mode. If you need to change this, you'll have to export as individual clips by clicking this bubble right here, but it shouldn't cause you any problems to just leave it how it is. Once we've done that, we're ready to export, so we'll add to render queue and start the render. Now we'll pull our new file into our timeline, and as you can see, it maintained the transparency from that alpha channel. If you have any requests for future videos, I'd love to check them out in the comments, and one last time, I'll ask that you subscribe to the channel, and if you really like the video, you can buy me a coffee at the link in the description. I'll see you in the next one.